Me to read it out to you? Uh, I'm not challenging. Perhaps, it, okay. perhaps Senator Dentale, it might be Contable. useful if it were able to be tabled yeah. and uh, that way, that way yeah. people yeah. could have access to it. Perhaps I'll just read you a specific quote and it says, the cost of dental services provided on or after 1 July will not be met by the government and will need to be met by the patient. It says, um, it does say if the parliament agrees the child dental benefit schedule will close to all patients from 1st of July 2016. Yep, sounds accurate to me. And then it says, then there's a question, I have a letter that states my child is eligible. eligible. Can my child continue to access child dental benefit schedules until the end of 2016? The answer is no. The child dental benefit schedule will close to all patient, patients from 1 July 2016. That's the intent of the government as stated. In yeah, but it's on, I mean, you're telling patients they can't access a scheme that's still open. Uh, Senator, I think if you, I don't have that in front of me, but I accept, I'm accepting what you're saying, but if I follow the sequence of what you just said, it outlines the government's intent, how it will come no, in No, no, there's a specific question. There's a specific question, can, can I access child dental benefit schedules S until the end of 2016? Senator Dentale, I, I think it would be useful if you tabled that so that, yes. so that uh, well, I will officials, can, table that. officials can have a look. Um, so I'm just, I'm just interested as to why the department's advising people they can't access the scheme after the 1st of July when the scheme is not going to be, it will still be open. But Senator, the intent of that was a frequently asked, I understand it's, a, it's like a frequently asked question, yep. embedded underneath the presumption that the government is going to legislate to close the scheme. Well, that's a big assumption given we're not going to sit. It's a statement of the government's intent. Um, yeah, but that's not, I mean, a person who is entitled to access that $1,000 under the child dental benefit schedule, who has that entitle, entitlement available to them mm -hmm. until that um, legislation is passed, is being told by the department they can't access it. Yep. In, in, the, in the context? No, no, uh, no. I'll, I'll have a read of it. And you, yeah, I mean, no, no, really, I... it's, it's, um, it's beyond the pale that the department would be advising people they can't access the service that they're entitled to. Okay. Senator, in the, in the context of the decision of government at uh, budget, which is May, uh, that this will be legislated. Now, if that is well, not the case, that's, that's if that is not the case, we will we will adjust our advice to uh, to patients. That, that, that's assuming the legislation's passed. And 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 on the assumption that it doesn't, we will change our advice. You can't be advising people that they can't access a service that could still be available. We are advising on the basis of the government's policy, Senator. Yeah, but that's not the basis on which the person's entitled. The that person, is, that regardless the, of what the government might say, it exists in law and the department is advising patients I mean, we, on one hand, you're arguing that the reason for closing this thing down is because patients aren't accessing it, and you're telling them that they're not allowed to access it when they are. Uh, I mean, Senator, it's a self-fulfilling prophecy. Senator, this will be a bit of a circular one, because what we're, what we're talking about here uh, is we are, we've described the policy under the child, child and adult public dental uh, scheme, uh, and we're describing what actions will need to happen on the assumption that the government policy goes through the normal legislative process. That's what, that is the context uh, of this particular document. The end of the day, uh, if it's not legislated and if it has to remain in place, we will provide the appropriate advice that would happen at that point. I point you to the second question, which you now have in front of you. Do you can you tell me whether that second question is accurate? Senate. In the context of the policy, no, yes, no, it no. is. Well, no, it's so no, the, the, the child heading, the dental benefit schedule will close to okay. all patients from the 1st of July 2016. In the, con in the context? No, no, in the context of reality, is that statement accurate? Senator, perhaps if I can assist, and I think we're perhaps jumping, jumping the gun a little bit here. Um, Parliament hasn't dissolved yet. There's been no decision. This came in yesterday. We are working in the current environment if Parliament is to be dissolved, then clearly this will be um, assessed. Um, do you think it's appropriate to be telling patients that they cannot access a scheme while that scheme, no changes to that scheme have been made? And I'll point S you again to question S two. Senator, I, I understand your concern. I, I really do. I, and I know that you're very genuinely asking these questions, but I think we just need to look at it in the time frame that we're in at the moment, that 
Parliament has not dissolved. It came into the Parliament yesterday. So if Parliament is to be dissolved, this will be assessed. And I think that probably assists in your concern, Senator. And, and, and Senator, if I can just point out what the website actually does say, and you're taking the Q&A out of a broader context, the closure of the project program is subject to the passage of legislation. Once the changes to legislation have been finalised, uh, the confirmation of the program's closure will be made available. That is the context in which we're doing this. The, the, the government's policy, which is in the budget, is, is a, uh, a child and adult uh, public dental scheme. And uh, in, in that context, that is what we have on the website. Uh, and we're explaining what will happen to uh, to the child dental benefit scheme in that context. Is, is question two accurate on this question? No, in the context that it is in, it is absolutely accurate. The, con the, the, the so context is the child dental benefit scheme and talking about the closure. There's a definitive statement that says, no, the child dental benefit schedule will close to all patients from the 1st of July 2016. In response to a question that says, I have a letter that states my child is eligible, can my child continue to access child dental benefit schedule oh, yes. until well, the end of 2016? We're going around.